Welcome to Tales of Honor, a podcast with a mission to tell the true stories of every recipient of our nation's highest military award, the Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's Tale of Honor. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrose, and this is episode number 564. This is also going to be the beginning of a new campaign for the next two months, so all of November and all of December will be recipients from the American Indian Wars. Now, before I go any further, because I know how the internet works, I have a feeling there will be some people who stumble across these stories on YouTube or wherever you happen to find it that will feel the need to send me a comment uh, about the Indian Wars. I don't care. (laughs) I'm merely reporting about the recipients that received the Medal of Honor for their actions during this time period. Uh, I really don't care about your opinion on um, the wars with the Native Americans that were here prior to us, you know, settling here in America or the wars that went on throughout the time periods from settlement to, you know, through the Civil War and whatnot. I, I, I don't care about your opinion about it. This is not an opinion show. This is a, a podcast about the Medal of Honor recipients, so I'm here to report the facts. So that's all I got. Uh, if For those who don't know what the Indian Wars are, I will, do, I will read a quick synopsis here from Wikipedia, since it has a good little summary right here in two paragraphs. So let me go ahead and read this first. The American Indian Wars, also known as the American Frontier Wars and the Indian Wars, were fought by European governments and colonists in North America and later by the United States and Canadian governments and American and Canadian settlers against various American Indian and First Nation tribes. These conflicts occurred in North America from the time of the earliest colonial settlements in the 17th century until the early 20th century, which the time here is they have 1609 to June 2nd, 1924. The various wars resulted from a wide variety of factors. The European powers and their colonies uh, also enlisted allied Indian tribes to help them conduct warfare against each other's colonial settlements. After the American Revolution, many conflicts were local to specific states or regions and frequently involved disputes over land use. Some entailed cycles of violent reprisal. Okay, so now that we're up to speed on kind of what, I mean, that is a a very brief synopsis of what the American Indian Wars are. That's what we're going to be covering for the next two months. This episode today is going to be the first of all of those. But before we get into that, I have two birthdays to go over. The first was yesterday, November 1st, 1946. This birthday belongs to Mr. Sammy L. Davis, also known as the real Forrest Gump. He was born on the 1st of November, 1946, and he is a former U.S. Army Sergeant First Class that earned the Medal of Honor for his actions during the Vietnam War. So a very happy birthday to Mr. Sammy Davis. Next up is Mr. William Swenson. He was born on November 2nd, 1978. He is a former U.S. Army lieutenant colonel that earned his Medal of Honor for the war in Afghanistan, specifically the Battle of Ganjgal. So a very happy 44th birthday to Mr. William Swenson. And those are the only birthdays I have for today. I did cover Mr. Swenson's story back way back on episode number 41. So I'll have a link in the show notes for you to go check out his story. And that's it. So uh, one other little disclaimer to go over before we read today's story. These these episodes are going to be shorter, uh, significantly shorter. There's way less information regarding these people um, from the 1800s. So just it's not going to be the same. I'm very, very sorry. (laughs) That's all I got. So let's get into today's tale of honor. Edgar was born on the 30th of November, 1847, in New Richmond, Ohio, and at the age of 16, he enlisted in the 153rd Ohio Infantry during the American Civil War. He stayed in the Army after the war and served on frontier duty with the 8th U.S. Cavalry, and it was his actions on the 30th of May, 1868, that would earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, With two other men, he volunteered to search for a wagon passage out of a 4,000-foot valley wherein an infantry column was immobile. This small group passed six miles through hostile Apache terrain, finding the sought passage. 
On their return trip down the canyon, they were attacked by Apaches, who were successfully held at bay. Edgar received the Medal of Honor two months later, on the 28th of July, 1868, and he remained in the Army until 1893. Edgar R. Aston died on the 14th of April, 1932, at the age of 84, and he is buried in the Tate Township Cemetery in Bethel, Ohio, Section 7, Lot 40. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you for listening to Tales of Honor, and if you enjoyed the show, please be sure to subscribe and tell your friends and family. Tales of Honor is written and produced by Christoph Ambrosch, and theme music is Loyalty and Duty by Floru's Music. If you have any questions, you can send an email to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com, and please be sure to visit talesofhonorpodcast.com for more episodes and information. Thank you.